Hey, this is Hey, this is James Robertson with Workspace Real Estate. Thanks for watching. Today's topic is how to deal with an aggressive, unrealistic buyer, seller, or landlord, okay? The way that we like to deal with people that are particularly aggressive or cocky on deals, um, that's usually attributed by them being unrealistic in their proposals or just taking a very firm stance for no apparent reason. The way we deal with that is we try to understand um, what's the reason behind that, that really hard position. I'm gonna give you an example. If we're dealing with the negotiation with a landlord and they refuse to give free rent, okay, which to me makes no sense because abated rent outside the term costs the landlord very little money, but it saves the tenant a lot of money. So anytime a landlord refuses to give you free rent, you need, to, you need to question that. Why in the world would you not do that on a deal when that's probably the quickest way for us to come to terms on an agreement? So when someone refuses something like free rent, I'm gonna ask them, well, you know, why not? What's going on with that? You know, as another broker, I'm gonna ask them broker to broker, we know the economics of this, and this is one of the easiest ways for us to bridge the gap. So why would you say no? So if they reveal something like, um, you know, we have cash flow problems, we wanna get cash flow immediately, or we just don't have faith in the financials of your tenant, you know, they're gonna reveal something that's gonna help you further down the line. So understand when somebody's cocky or aggressive, don't respond in kind. What you wanna do is find out what the basis is for that position and then use that to your advantage later. And here's how we would flip that on a landlord. So if someone says, well, we don't, we don't know about your financials, that's why we don't wanna give free rent. Well, our counter to that is very simple. You know, we're gonna line up their financials and show an argument on why they are strong. Then not only that, we're gonna ask for a rate reduction plus the free rent that we want, or we're gonna show them the other options that we can take our client to. We're gonna address their concern, and then we're gonna present what we want as a response. And we're gonna expect a positive movement forward because if they were honest about their real reason, they usually do respond positively. So understand that it's almost like a redirection. If somebody's really aggressive towards you, you find out what's behind that force, you redirect it and throw it right back at them. And you throw it back at them with your goals and ideals in mind for what needs to be negotiated. This is something that brokers, good brokers that are working for you have to do on a daily basis. So I hope this saves you some time and money on deals and thanks for watching.